Hey everyone, so here is a part of the Subaru Lineartronic CVTs that almost no one has a chance to ever see. This is a planetary gear set. This particular one goes in the HT TR690 series. It did not come in the TR690. A variant of this came that had a single pinion setup. This is a double pinion, so each pinion set is a double pinion. And we're gonna show you that in a little while. Uh, and the difference between the TR690 and HT TR690's planetary gear set besides that is also it does change the gearing. Uh, we're going to pull the sun gear out and now you can see the double pinion gear sets right there as we rotate this around. You can also see on the bottom of this is a bearing very much like this one here that we have out right now so that you can see the insides of this. Now we're going to pull this apart to show you what the rest of this looks like. And there is your ring gear. And again, another bearing. Now, putting this back in is just a matter of making sure you line up your pinions, spin your pinion gears they sink and make sure that you drop this in straight and it'll spin around as it goes in because of course the way that the gears are set up and then this one goes bearing down and again has to go in straight and once you get aligned with your pinion gears it'll just slide in and turn as it drops into place and there you go because this sits between the secondary reduction gear and the tail cone, it means the CVT chain and variators are always energized and always spin in the same direction. So one of the neat things about this is this is one of the pieces that sandwiches together uh, with a reverse brake and a forward clutch to allow the HT TR690 to change directions same concept, same thing in the TR690, except the planetary gear, as I said, is a little bit different. The combination of those three pieces are what makes your HTTR690 CVT chirp once you first started your car and you shift it from park through reverse to drive and you get that signature chirp that every HTTR690 on the planet can be made to do. If yours hasn't done it, uh, it's just a matter of how you're shifting and how long you're waiting before you shift and how much pressure is left in the system. We'll go over all of that in another video and demonstrate that with the pieces. So anyway, stay tuned because we are going to be taking apart and building back up an entire HTTR 690 and doing a cutaway view that shows you exactly how these things work and gives you an idea of what the insides of these things are like and what parts of it make its signature sounds. Stay tuned.